Hello, my name is Patrick Bourne. I'm a Cisco Technical Marketing Engineer for SPA SIP Endpoints. Provisioning the SPA 500 IP phones. There are three basic options available to configure the SPA 500 IP phones. First being using the web user interface. You access by directing a browser to HTTP colon slash slash the phone IP address slash admin slash advanced. Another way of configuring the phone is using a configuration file. You can either extract the configuration file from an already configured uh, phone using the SPA CFG utility, or if you have a hand-built configuration file, or perhaps one that's been generated by a program. And then a third option, which is mainly available to service providers, is a remote customization option. Now we're going to look a little more in depth at configuring a phone using the web user interface. Using the web user interface, direct any browser to http colon slash slash the phone's IP address slash admin slash advanced. Once you're in the browser you then edit the various parameters to configure your phone so it'll register and display exactly what you want. Edit the phone's parameters to register appropriately and to display the appropriate information. When you're done configuring the parameters, click the save button at the bottom of the browser and the phone will then reboot. Once the phone has been properly configured and all the parameters are as you wish, you can extract the phone's configuration for automated use. Direct a browser to http colon slash slash the phone's IP address slash admin slash spacfg.xml. This causes the browser to display the phone's parameters as shown here in a Google Chrome browser. You'll notice it shows you you use view hyphen source colon to display the source. There's Internet Explorer and Firefox, you can show source on it to get the same layout. Copy all, all the information that's displayed from flat profile all the way through to the end where you'll be slash flat profile. Copy that and then paste it into a file and use it for configuring your phone. You can also edit the file and use it for other phones. So now that you've got the configuration file you'd want to load it into the phone. There are several ways you can do this. First being manually with the web user interface http colon slash slash the phone IP address slash admin slash resync r-e-s-y-n-c question mark tftp colon slash slash the tftp server's IP address slash and then the path to the config file. So in this case I've called it config.txt. You can call it anything you like. You don't have to use TFTP, you can use any other protocol of choice provided you've got a server serving it up. Second way to load a configuration into a phone is to use the phone's interface itself. If you press the phone setup button, navigate down to profile rule to resync and then enter the path. So you'd say HTTP colon slash slash and then the server's IP address or the server name and the path. Another way you can load the phone's config is automatically when the phone boots. The phone's provisioning tab, there's a profile rule there and you can put in a path and the phone will then the configuration when it reboots. If you change the phone's configuration file and then it does a resync, it'll pull the new configuration file and depending on any changes, if the changes are big enough, the phone will reboot. If the changes are just minor, the phone will affect the changes and just continue operating. And then another way of configuring the phone is with remote customization. Remote customization for service providers or large volume purchases of phones. This is because the phone is burned with a special image at, a f at the factory. So this causes the phone, when it's first powered up, to contact Cisco's provisioning servers. The Cisco servers point back to the service provider and the service provider servers then configure and provision the phones appropriately. Some resources that you may find to be of use, the IP phone support community has links to documentation and firmware. The way you get to it is http colon slash slash www.mysiscocommunity.com Click on small business support community, click on small business voice and conferencing, and finally click on IP phone. Another resource is cisco.com slash go slash 500 phones 